welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel whichever's more appropriate today we're doing the top 10 things wrong with my ford f-250 it's a lot more than 10 but we're gonna do 10. number 10 the radio doesn't work uh -huh. Uh -huh. number nine it leaks it leaks oil it leaks antifreeze it even leaks power steering fluid and the windshield leaks nice little pond there on the dash that's nice that's probably why the radio doesn't work number eight the tires they're street tires. They're not that big. And they don't have mud tread. No good off-road. They are aired down to 15 pounds, although you can't tell. Number seven. It's got open diffs. Even if it did have good tires, uh, the wrong ones would probably spin. <laughs> Number six. It's too big. 155 inch wheelbase. That's too much. It's too wide for all the trails back there. <laughs> a big heavy mess really number five it drinks gas as you can imagine you push down on the fun pedal and she chugs the fuel right down number four brakes when you hit the brake pedal it sticks to the floor you can pull it back up with your toe but this one especially this passenger side front likes to stick until second gear hits and it jars it out of place Number three, the steering wheel. If this thing being huge isn't hard enough to navigate the woods, the steering comps, oh, just, it's in bad shape, guys. Number two, the driver's side door does not shut anymore, no matter what you do. Number one thing is the cab. The cab is in absolutely destroyed shape. Uh, the brackets right here, you can see there's no floorboard, really. Every time you hit some mud, you catch it right up in the teeth. Just from here to here, right up in the fellow's teeth. It's no good. This cab is, I mean, it's gone. It's just, it's just gone. Now it isn't all bad news. The old 5.8 dials right up. Now as far as the tires go, I did have chains in the back. One got snagged and broke. Uh, but what I did notice with the chains, it changed the outside diameter of the tire. And it kind of gave it a bit of a push-pull from the front to rear. Which kind of made everything worse. I really need to get either four chains all the way around or just bigger tires but the cab has to be dealt with I, i'm not gonna fall out of this thing it's uh it's leaning so hard that i'm pretty sure the seats help keeping the cab together um gonna have to do something about that could do a cheap greasy easy body transfer you know put this on the f-250 cab or f-250 frame rather that could happen as long as we take our expectations and we bring them down here, we should be okay. That should work, right? I don't know. I haven't even taken the tape measure to this idea. But uh, what I do know is I need something stable to sit on in there. That's going to be a bit mess. And this would solve that problem. It would also solve the steering column problem. This one's got a good column. I do have a little bit of experience with body swaps. I did one years ago from a Ford Ranger frame and a Toyota cab. Uh, let, me go, let me go find a picture. Now, years ago, long before YouTube and digital cameras and stuff, I had this old truck here, and it was a Ford Ranger frame. I bought the chassis and everything already built. Some guy put Dana 44 axle, Ford 9 inch, had a Chevy 4.3, Turbo 350 trans, Dana 20 transfer case, and it had a Ford Ranger body. And it kind of did the same thing the old F-250 did. It just rotted out. And uh, I didn't spend a whole lot of money doing this swap and I swapped over my Toyota truck on this Ford Ranger setup and uh man I punished this thing for years it was a good old rig it's in some of my older videos but it's already beat up by then it's already in its third carnation by then but uh when I first did this one it was a pretty good looking old truck there's still a lot of meat on the bones here in this old truck the frame's really not in that bad of shape at least from what I can tell picked it over I can't find any bad holes or anything other than like surface rust so i think the frame's going to be good to go but who knows i have many projects and that makes it hard to get one done i'm gonna have to pick a path with this and take it i don't quite know just yet let me know what y'all think thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe all that fun stuff i appreciate it 
See you in the next one.